What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to enable RTX ray tracing for Minecraft on your PC. This should be quite an easy tutorial. For more information, click on the first link in the description below. Before enabling ray tracing for Minecraft, make sure that this resource demanding feature is compatible with your graphics card. At this moment, GPUs such as the RTX 2060 or higher will enable you to enable ray tracing and run it smoothly on your PC. You should make sure that your graphics driver is up to date. I recommend using the GeForce Experience application to update your NVIDIA GPU driver. In the Drivers tab, click on Download. This will take a minute to download and automatically install the latest graphics driver. When this is done, make sure that you're using the latest Minecraft for Windows application which can be downloaded from the Microsoft Store. Next, open up the Minecraft app on your PC. Make sure that you're logged in with your Microsoft account and from the title screen, select Marketplace. Here, search for RTX. If you're using an RTX graphics card, then you should be able to preview the RTX content packs. Make sure to download any content pack you wish to use. Most ray tracing content packs are branded with the NVIDIA RTX logo. Select to download the content when clicking on the thumbnail. After the download is completed, select the Create this world for the downloaded content. This will download the RTX functionality and will enable you to play the world with ray tracing. While playing in the world, open up your settings and under Video, scroll down in order to enable ray tracing. Below, you can change the ray tracing render distance, which will have a lot of impact on the performance of your PC while playing Minecraft. Back in the game, you should see that RTX ray tracing is enabled in this particular world. Lastly, exit out of this world and select to create a new world. You can then select the downloaded RTX resource pack and apply it to your world. In case you have any further issues or problems following this tutorial, then I suggest following my extensive guide linked in the description below. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.